This is just another demonstration video regarding these Class 2 GM radios found in 2000 to 2005 GM vehicles, just Buick, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Chevrolet, whatever. A lot of vehicles have these style radios. Anyway, some of these radios can actually be activated and used if you switch a wire around in the plug. I'm not sure of which radios exactly it is. So far, most of the information I've read and heard is that these will work without the vehicle's on signal. All they need is just a 12 volt on signal, which in 90% of the plugs is actually disabled. This is the wiring harness here. This is the old style GM plug. Older theft lock radios use it. GM started using this style plug in 1988 to the year 2000 almost. I've seen some as late as 2004. And this is the newer plug. It's, you can see the difference. It's one big plug versus multiple smaller plugs. This is an adapter harness I made. Since my power supply here, just a cheap Radio Shack power supply, is wired for that type of plug. And my speakers are also wired for the older style GM plug. Fit together like this. It's a little piece I took off so I can demonstrate the harness, but it'll work without it. Life. Now, you have to modify the plug for that 12 volt on signal. That is actually fairly simple. This wire here and this wire here. This wire here, the green wire, is normally in this slot right here. You have to pull this green plug out, or excuse me, this blue pin here, and you need to move the wire from here over to here. You need to make sure these two are next to each other. This is the radio's main power, and this is the 12 volt on signal here. Most vehicles don't have this wire here because the radio is just kind of always on, so to speak, even when the car is off. When it gets the on signal from the CAN bus in the vehicle, the radio turns on. The radio, the radio is told. The computer says. Okay, we're running. Turn on. Radio turns on. Some of these radios, like this one here, actually have the 12 volt on signal enabled. So if you put this wire, if you move this wire from here to here, the radio may work. And this is what you also need to move this wire here to this side of the harness. If you, if you follow my other video on how to remove the chips from these radios to unlock them, if you want to use them on a bench or in a garage or whatever like that, basically out of the vehicle like I do, you have to move, you have to move this wire from here to here. And then just to use it on a bench, you just tie the two together. And you put 12 volt positive into that, just like I do. And then the ones that are all connected are the speakers. All four channels, they're all they're all wired up. They just use electric tape because I'm sure I'll redo this harness later. Now I'm not sure what all this is, honestly. I, I assume some of this is data wiring. It could be illumination. Not sure. Not not with the RDS radios, I'm not sure. This little pin's pretty easy to get out and easy to push back in. Just goes in like that. And it just snaps back in and secures the wires. To undo this, it's pretty simple. You do it in with a pen. Push that there. Push that there. And then you're free to switch the wires around as you need. And when you're done, snap it back together. Then you plug it in the back of your radio. 
and voila. Look at that. It works. Just like that. And that's how you can power these radios up on a bench or if you want to install them into another vehicle that doesn't actually originally use these radios, whatever you want. And just to show what my plug harness is for. Since it's easier just to do this instead of make multiple videos. the older style theft lock. Nothing special about these. Nothing to unlock about these. 90% of the time these radios aren't even locked to begin with out of the vehicle. Usually the lights are burned out. No one cares. Hard doing this from behind the camera. Come on. Voila. With one light, see ya with her, not with me. And as you can see, as usual, all the lights are burned out. And that's all there is to it, to making an adapter. This, this adapter lets you use the older style GM plug. At least me, anyway, since I use these and the other ones. To the newer style RDS. And just to recap, you need to switch around two wires. Push there. Push there. This wire and this wire need to be directly next to each other. This green wire here is originally in this slot on most plugs. You just gently pull the wire out of there, and then you slide it into this slot. And voila.